Hello, everyone. Here we are. Week 7, Module 7. We're almost done with the course. I bet you're so glad to be done with finance. But hopefully, uh, as we uh, end our time together, you have come to appreciate how important finance is. It's really, it is the lifeblood of everything in healthcare. Nothing happens in the absence of finance. So whether you're a for-profit or not-for-profit, doesn't make a difference. People need to get paid for the work that they do. Hospitals need to get built. Outpatient centers need to be maintained. Um, you need to receive a salary. And all of that happens through the mechanisms of finance. So hopefully you see the importance, uh, importance of it there. And even if your job isn't directly involved within the finance department of a healthcare organization, definitely your job has large components that are going to be um, or that are uh, dedicated to financial principles. All right, enough of that, but we're almost done. So here's what we're going to talk about for the next kind of the, especially this week. Uh, there's been some, I'm going to make some changes. Uh, so hopefully you watch the video all the way through. And for you graduating folks that are people that are graduating this spring, okay, stay tuned and watch the entire video because we've got some special changes just for you. All right, well, let's take a look at what we're doing this week. In module seven, kind of a very regular week, um, we have a one learning activity and one topic essay. Uh, with the learning activity, uh, again, the download is in there. I just want to draw your attention real quick that we are doing uh, two items, one question and one problem. As you can see, I'll scroll up a bit. As you can see here, so one mathy one and one wordy one. Okay, you guys are doing really good, really good on that. The math stuff, I'm very impressed. I know some of you have really math phobia, but you're doing a great job. Um, love the screenshots of the calculators when you're using those. Great. The other thing I want to show you is we have a massive bonus question, full 20 point bonus question. Okay. This was actually assigned as original a learning activity question, but uh, in the spirit of kind of lightening things up a bit for the, uh, for the course, um, going to turn this beefier, uh, this beefier problem into an extra credit opportunity. So you're not required to do it, but if you want to, please submit it at the same time that you're submitting these other two items up here, okay? I do need them submitted all together because I do release the answers and, you know, normally with the, ex the other extra credit, we've had a couple of extra uh, opportunities for extra credit earlier in the course. Um, those can be submitted all the way up to the last day of the course. This one, since answers are going to be released, I just need it at the end of the module when you when this is due, guys, okay? so if you want to go ahead and attempt this. All right, so there is that for the week. Let's go back out. I want to show you uh, something else uh, as well. Go to the modules. The, uh, I noticed I uh, either misspoke or mistyped on something, so this might give you some relief here as well. So uh, this was last week. So last week we introduced a case study, and I believe I said it will be due the Friday. Uh, it would be due the Friday before the course ends, and then I plugged in the wrong date on there. So it's not due the date i had on there i believe was may 2nd or something like that it's not due this friday it's due may 7th the friday before the class ends in module 8 so you have an additional week to work on that but if you think this week is kind of light a little bit you may want to knock out a few paragraphs uh, on the case study remember we're looking for nice full, robust paragraphs, you know, for the questions that are posed in there. Um, no two sentence answers, you're going to get points off for that. You could have a two sentence answer that, um, you know, states a point, but then, you know, kind of you could elaborate on why you believe, you know, whatever you're saying, you know, so that's where kind of, here's why, 
Here's what I believe. Boom. One to two sentences. And here's why I believe that is important. Um, some of you were a little light in some of the case studies, um, especially when I asked the question, what are the two or three main learning points? Like you'll just list like three things and just like the items like, well, OK, but maybe why are those kind of important learning points that you've extracted out of that? Just to round out a nice full paragraph. I'm not trying to kill you with work, but you know, what does it take to write a full paragraph? Maybe 30 minutes. Um, of, of work. Uh, so, you know, if you're putting about anywhere, I'd say from an hour to two hours into this into the case study would be would be fair. Okay. So there is that case study due when? Friday of module eight. All right, that covers everything for this week. Now, for individuals that are graduating, pay attention. If you are graduating this spring, and what I mean by graduating, I mean you are done with your program. You are done whatever program you're in. You are done, uh, you are graduating, and you might be participating in commencement. I don't want to confuse the two. We have some people who are participating in commencement who will not graduate until this summer, okay? Because we only have two commencement ceremonies. We don't have one in the summer, so we invite the summer grads to kind of graduate uh, or participate in the commencement early. They get an empty diploma. They don't get their diploma. If you're one of those people that's graduating and finishing your classes in the summer, this doesn't apply to you whether you participate in the commencement coming up or not. People that are fully done, walking out the door, okay, this spring, uh, this does apply to you. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Because commencement is coming up, I believe, on April 7th. Double check in here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I believe it's April 7th. We, um, we will have a kind of a truncated uh, options for you. So what we are doing, looking at when that is supposed to be rolling in for you guys. Okay, so double checking here. May, I'm sorry. What am I talking about? You guys graduate on May, let's say April. You guys, uh, commencement is on a Friday. That is May 7th. Okay, May 7th is, don't quote me, look at your Look at the emails that are coming from the registrar, but a Friday is usually when we do it. So that's May 7th. The class for you folks um, will end Tuesday, May 4th. Okay, so we're going to end Tuesday, May 4th for graduating spring individuals. So here's what you need to do. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to make you do that entire module eight uh, in just really a couple of days. So all you're going to be required to do, you'll clean up module seven as normal. And all you will do is the final exam. That is it. Final, uh, the final exam will be the only thing that you will do in module eight. You will need to complete, please button up the, I'll kind of go back to the case study, button that one up, and uh, since it was technically issued in module six, and you'll finish the case study. So maybe that's really two things. You're going to do the final exam, and you're going to finish that case study. Again, you've been working on that for a couple of weeks at least, plus you'll have a little bit more than that to finish those two items. So that is it. Finish module, long story short, finish module seven as normal. Finish your case study and finish uh, only the final exam in module eight and you're done. And you have to get all that in by Tuesday, May 4th at noon. Okay, so get all that in by Tuesday, May 4th at noon. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in there right at noon, grade those items, and then turn around and submit grades. I will not have any chance at all. I've, I've got to get those in with like in about 30 minutes of that because then they start 
doing audits and printing diplomas and all that stuff. So I won't have any chance to track you down uh, if it's not in there, okay? So you've got those two items to do. Um, I'm going to put a link in module seven that will explain everything. I will need you to do, it's not necessarily a work assignment that you'll need to do, but um, I'm going to have a, a discussion board listed here where all you got to do is just tell me who you are. Um, hey, I'm graduating this spring, so I know the names. I can catch the names. I have an index list too that I look at and cross reference, but you're going to self identify. So that way on Tuesday, when I have to go in there, I'm going to look at those names. And I'm going to grade whatever you got and then plug in that final, final grade for this course. OK, so there you go, guys. You're going to have a link in there that will explain the, I guess, the three little items that you need to do. Well, it's not necessarily little, but you're going to have to do the final exam. You're going to have to finish the um, case study. We've been had, had it for a couple of weeks. And then you just got to tell me who you are, and there'll be a little discussion area in there for you to tell me who you are. All right, so that is it, guys, for this week. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to text me. Um, I know I was, I was um, texting with a student over the weekend who mentioned the graduation part. And I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, I think we do have. Because there was some talk about not having a physical commencement, which means there's no pressure uh, on to get things early because we don't really have a physical commencement. But it looks like we are going physical, which is great. Kind of getting back to normal with the social distancing, but we're still doing a physical commencement. Have not heard whether faculty members or program directors like myself are going to be invited yet. I know they're keeping things down to a skeleton crew for this, but um, it is definitely a step forward. But let me know if you do have any questions. Please feel free to text me. All right, everybody have a fantastic week. It's going to be like summer, 80 degrees, at least here in the Midwest. I'm not sure where everybody else lives, but uh, hopefully you have some good weather coming your way. And I will check in with everybody uh, on the last module of the course. Thanks.